I'm sure most would say that barking is a normal reaction for all dogs. But is that correct? Not exactly. There are a handful of dog breeds that rarely, if ever, bark. Then again, there are some dogs that are renowned for being vocal. Some dogs just bark a lot. It's important when choosing the perfect dog breed for yourself that you know just how predisposed your future pup may be to barking. Dogs bark for a variety of reasons. Some dogs bark to alert their owners to something amiss on the property, while other dogs bark in response to interaction with their people. They may bark at play. Nothing is cuter than a puppy playing vigorously and barking in a playful manner. A barking dog could also mean it is trying to get its owner's attention. Some dogs bark because they are happy. However, when one must consider their neighbor's attitude toward annoying and perpetual barking, potential pet parents must seek out a breed that isn't known for incessant barking. If one lives in close proximity to neighbors, such as an apartment situation, it's a good idea to choose a breed that isn't prone to lots of communication. If you're looking for a great watchdog that will alert you once guests arrive, here's our top six choices. Number six, the West Highland Terrier. The West Highland White Terrier, or Westie, is an adorable terrier breed that shares the same personality quirks as other terriers. The Westie is also highly intelligent, and, when bored, they may become yappy. The Westie can be stubborn, and the breed requires a great deal of dedication from a pet parent to curb the dog's tendency to bark. Although the Westie will alert pet parents to the presence of a stranger, within minutes, the Westie is typically wagging its tail and itching to interact with the person. You can bet the Westie will let pet parents know there is a squirrel in the yard or even a bird hopping about. Again, a pet parent who is committed to consistent training, as well as taking the alpha dog role will help to keep the Westie from developing lots of bad habits. Number 5, the Cairn Terrier. Perhaps one of the most iconic Cairn Terriers is Toto, Dorothy's faithful pup on the Wizard of Oz. Toto did exemplify the breed in barking at various oddities throughout the film. Of course, Toto was a terrier, and, like most terriers, he certainly possessed vocal qualities. Like other terriers, a Cairn Terrier needs consistent training and a pet parent who acts as the head of the pack. This will help keep the Cairn Terrier from misbehaving or developing negative habits. In reality, the personality of a Cairn Terrier actually varies a good bit. Some Cairns are well-behaved and relatively quiet. Others can be stubborn, true to their terrier nature. Keep the Cairn Terrier busy and barking will be at a minimum. Number 4, the Miniature Schnauzer. Schnauzers are members of the Terrier family, so you guessed it, they are typically very vocal dogs. Some pet parents of the Silver Mini Schnauzer report that their pups are quite yappy. In fact, their bark is shrill and often quite annoying. However, some Schnauzers are mild-mannered and rarely bark. The key to keeping your Mini Schnauzer from barking is the same as any other Terrier, start training Fido to curb the tendency to bark from an early age. When doing so, they never have the chance to form the bad habit of incessant barking. Keep the mini schnauzer active. Provide at least 30 minutes to an hour each day of proper exercise. Take a brisk walk or jog. Provide mental activity toys for times that you can't interact with your mini schnauzer. Also, visiting the dog park is a great way to keep your mini schnauzer active and happy. Remember, a tired dog is actually a very happy dog. Number 3, the Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkshire Terriers are adorable, long-haired small dogs that are absolutely darling. They are very tiny, with adults typically weighing no more than 4 pounds in adulthood. The Yorkie is considered a toy breed. However, make no bones about it, the Yorkshire Terrier is, well, still a terrier. As previously mentioned with the Fox Terrier, any terrier breed has a strong prey drive and a stubborn streak. However, Yorkie tends to crave a close relationship with their pet parents, so they are a tad easier to train. Therefore, you can work to lessen the Yorkie's propensity to bark a lot. Some describe the Yorkie as yappy, and this is a part of the Yorkie's terrier personality. It is best to begin working on any incessant barking from day one. It is important to remember that the size of your Yorkie and her particular breeding could also be indicative of whether or not your particular dog will be much of a barker. Small Yorkies may bark a good bit, but larger, sturdier Yorkies definitely have a tendency to bark a lot. Like other terriers, the Yorkie will alert you to visitors as well as the postman walking through the neighborhood. It's a good idea to begin training Fido to refrain from barking early on while socializing him to everyday living. Number 2, the Fox Terrier. Another breed that possesses a strong prey drive is the Fox Terrier. 
Like the beagle, the fox terrier was bred to assist hunters in flushing out and tracking down foxes. The fox terrier has an incredible prey drive, plus, the fox terrier is quite stubborn, thanks to the dog's terrier attitude. The fox terrier is a dog that is very brave. They may be small to medium-sized dogs, but these dogs bark excessively at most anything. From the postal delivery person to squirrels to a leaf blowing across the lawn, the fox terrier is always alert and always barking. Unlike the beagle, persistent pet parents can minimize the fox terrier's propensity for barking. However, one must commit to consistent positive reinforcement dog training. Providing the fox terrier with a great deal of exercise can also contribute to lessening the barking in your fox terrier. Plus, keep in mind the fox terrier is one of the more intelligent dog breeds, pet parents will need to stay one step ahead of this breed. Keep the fox terrier active and provide consistent training in order to squelch annoying barking. Number 1, the Beagle. Beagles are a breed of hound dogs. They are working dogs at heart. They love to give chase to a potential prey, and they are very vocal while they're at it. Experts have cited the Beagle as being one of the most vocal. This isn't really the Beagle's fault however. The Beagle was actually bred to be a breed that would howl and bray during a hunt so that their human handlers could locate the dogs and the potential prey. Beagles have historically been utilized to hunt a variety of animals, from foxes to rabbits to raccoons to deer. They would give chase and flush these animals into the open where hunters could find them. So, it should be no surprise that beagles, now chiefly utilized as pets, will alert their owners to anyone or anything out of place in your home. A delivery person at the door? The beagle is quick to let owners know. Have guests over? As soon as there is a knock at the door, you can rest assured Fido will alert you. Training a beagle to refrain from barking is a monumental task that is often unachievable. This is due to the years and years of breeding the beagle to be noisy. Therefore, even though this is an adorable dog that is loyal and very sweet, as well as smart, if you're looking for a dog that is quiet, you might bypass the beagle. There you have it. Our list of the top 6 dogs that bark a lot. However, it is important to note. Though some dog breeds are known for being less inclined to bark excessively, any dog can become a nuisance barker if it isn't well trained or it isn't getting the attention it needs. If your dog is a compulsive barker, regardless of breed, talk to your vet or a dog training expert to determine the cause and find ways to help your pup understand there's an appropriate time and place for barking and constantly isn't one of them. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.